I've got all the pieces milled up to the front rails and the side rails, and uh, I've got a drawing here. It's very basic, but I'd like to show you what I'm doing with that. Well, these are the pieces, again, for the, the rails. Uh, this is going to be the front rail, back rail, side rails, and, and again, part of the front rails. There's going to be three drawers in this. I've got a large middle drawer and two smaller drawers on the outside. This one piece here, I want to cut these four dividers and the doors. Again, so I want a continuous grain pattern running across all the way through the front. Um, these are going to be the side rail or the front rails, the, the top and bottom of that piece. So what I need to do first is I need to mark out this board and cut these individual pieces out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the front rail down to four inches. cut down the side rails and the back rail, and these are going to be five and a half inches. One thing you're going to learn real quick on cherry or maple or any other hardwood is that when you're, you're, you're cutting it like this, or ripping it on the table saw, there can be a lot of burning on, on the edges. Uh, an easy way to, to make sure that doesn't happen is give it a nice, done for saw, is give it a nice feed rate all the way through. I wasn't stopping for anything, grabbing my push stick and then just keep on going through. And that greatly helps reduce the, the amount of, of burning that you're going to see on the edges. And these two pieces are going to be part of the front rail assembly. And these need to be about one and three quarter inches. The way the front rail has to be cut is I need a one and a quarter inch slice, nine inch, 18 and three quarter inch, quarter inch, nine inch, one and a quarter inch. So I'm going to use my uh, small cross cut sled for this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to square up an edge. I'm going to flip the board over using the same reference face and then um, cut a one and a quarter inch piece, move the fence over to nine inches, cut nine inches off, move it back to one and a quarter and so forth. So um, let's do it. Here's the front rail all cut up, and again, it's, it's pretty simple, you can see this. Um, these are going to be the dividers, these are going to be the drawers, and uh, when it's all fit together in the front, again, the face frame will be one continuous piece all the way across, which will look real nice. And uh, this needs to be 41 and 3 quarters, to check that, which it is, so I need to cut the back rail to the same length as this. I need to cut the other back rail and the other parts of the two front rail 41 and 3 quarter inches. So what I've got is my miter saw set up here. I've got a stop down here set at 41 and 3 quarters. And uh, what I need to do first is square up an end, 
go down and then uh, cut a clamp. on this and it's uh, exactly 41 and 3 quarters. I'm going to do the same thing to the side. I need to cut the side around now. Those need to be 17 and 3 quarters. I'm just going to move my stop down. Line up the cursor. Lock it down and I know I'm good on that. So. Just make the cut. on here so I can put it all together in the same way. This is the bottom rail and all the pieces are going to fit like this. As you can see I'm, I'm flush on the end here. These are the drawer fronts. Again I'm going to use these as spacers instead of measuring. It makes it a lot easier. Um, all these pieces, the dividers are going to be held to the front rail with, with dominoes. I'm using small 5 by 30s. It's perfect for this type of joinery. It takes all the guesswork out of it. So all I have to do is go like this, mark the center line, and then make a mark here going up, and I'll just do that all the way down the line. I've got my board set up. I've uh, increased the witness lines or the marks up to the top of the board, and that's the reference edge I'm going to use. Um, I've got my domino set up for a 5x30 and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this down the line. Well, I'm getting ready to cut the mortises and the dividers and these are pretty small pieces, and I always want to make sure I reference off the, the face edge of these. So what I've done is just you know put a board here and a couple smaller boards. I just want to make sure that when I put the domino on here and put the, the, the cutter on there that I'm always referencing off the top edge. If I just lay this flat, I might be referencing off this edge. And if I put it over the edge of the table like this, it, it can get a little tippy, so I just have to put the boards in there like that, make sure that there's room underneath here. I've got a solid space here, and this is pretty stable. I feel pretty comfortable with that. out for the glue up. I, I like to have everything at hand when I do these, so 
I've got the pieces laid out, how they're going to go. I've got some, you know, water in case I get some squeeze out. I've got my, my dominoes, a square, and of course glue. So uh, one thing I don't have is I need my wooden mallet. Now I'm ready. and make sure they're square. And they are. Um, again, the domino really lends itself well to this type of, of joinery. Um, and I did this pretty quick. I mean, it takes a while to film it, but um, all in all, I could have done this in probably 15, 20 minutes which is a huge time saver. Um, these are going to be joined to the, the legs also with dominoes. So we'll do that next after this dries. <laughs> 